Hey guys, welcome back to Trade Engineers. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be talking about how to find external liquidities. But first, you might be wondering what are external liquidities, because I think I've mentioned it about a couple of times now in um, different videos. So, external liquidities are the original target of price, that's where price runs to. Okay, so Look at the diagram on the chart. So first is a read of an external high, and the second is a read of an external low, or let's say a structure of an external low. So don't see this as a, as a market structure, right? Don't see this any of this as a market structure. See this as a market narrative. Now, first, write this down. An external liquidity is a high that reads another high, or a low that reads another low. Now, it can be quite complicated sometimes when you're looking at the chart because it might not be exactly this demonstration, but this is the narrative I want you to go on with today after watching this video. Okay, so once there's a high, a single high, that high must kind of, I think, must be standing alone. It should not be a high that's like this, let's say, um, what you guys call the, the brick of structure. Let me outline that all you guys call the break of structure something like this <laughs> so it should not be any of these lows this type of lows right so it should be a low that is standing alone something like this low this type of low that is what you are looking for as an external liquidity target now first thing is you want to see a high that reads another high now we have a different highs here right we have this high we have this high and we have this high and we have this high right so now out of these highs which one rated a high this one first rated a high right now since this one reads a high it becomes what an external liquidity that high becomes an external liquidity making it an original target for what for price that high now once that is an once price rates that high what will price do price will come back after leaving all the structure it will come back and take that high then go for an external low this thing might be quite um uh, um complicated that's why I, I, this structure mainly happens on the higher time frame no don't go to the five minute or the 15 minute time frame to look for these structures no they only happen on the one hour time frame four hour time frame that's where you see structures like this or narrative like this happen. So price runs from an external high to an external low or from an external low to an external high. I'm going to explain this in a bit. Now, if price creates an external high or let's say if price runs to an external high and comes back, if it does not get to the previous external low, it will create what? A new external low i don't know if you are getting me it to create a new external low before it turning so this is now a new external low i'm going to show you this in the chat in the chat of course but i want you to understand the whole narrative now why are you, what are you looking for every day you go to the chat you're looking for where price is coming from so that you can figure out where price is going to that's the first narrative that's the first ideology you should have in the chat as a day trader or as a swing trader or anything any type of trader you are, if you go into the chat every day looking for setups, first figure out where is price coming from or where is price going to. <clears throat> That's where the help of external highs and lows comes in, right? So in the idea of external highs, you want to mark out the previous external high. If it's coming from an external high, that means it's going towards an external low. If it's coming from an external low, something like this, that means it's going towards, it's going to an external highs all of these are original targets for price the rest are intraday liquidity let's say okay price are, price is coming from an external high then you know automatically that price is going towards an external low you don't want to be buying no matter what intraday setups are giving you you don't want to be buying you're only looking for highs you're, you're looking for previous day highs or current day highs in order to continue this sell to the external high. Now, once price takes out that external high, you chill and wait to see if price is going to start reversing. Once price starts reversing, then 
that is your signal to start looking for buys right now let's look at the chart let me erase this let's look at the chart there are a lot of examples like this a lot of examples like this but first i'm going to start from i think um 20 to 23 price action okay so this is nasdaq right this is nasdaq so let's start from something like this now remember i'm not going to use my bar replay this is a one at time frame i'm not going to use my bar replay i want you to see everything as clear as day right now remember we are looking for what the external highs or the external low if you look at this from all of this section you can see my cursor from all of this section there is nothing like an external low why is that okay first let's mark out the lows so this is a low this is a low this is a low a low and this is also a low now you can see that all of these lows are pending lows i do not i do not mark out those lows quite right but you can you get the ideology right now you see that all of these are pending lows they are liquidities right but this kind of liquidities are not liquidities that reject price they are liquidities that price attacks and keep going further now what do i mean by that okay so these lows none of them are external all of them no this low is not taking out any low yes you might say it's, it's taking this one but it's not taking out the low that's not a standalone low this low is rather to not taking out any low this low is not taking out any low this low is not taking out any low so all of these are pending liquidities pending liquidities i mean because once you talk about liquidities now everybody thinks that the liquidity is a high that once price rates price must reject no or a low that once price rates once price reads, price must reject. You know, as absolutely wrong. The liquidity can be highs that price targets. You can use this high, these lows or highs as targets. Once price target those, that's, that could be your profit target. You get. You are not totally expecting price to reject from there. Where price rejects from there, fine. Where price rejects from are external liquidities. You can use internal um, liquidities. Like all of these pending lows, internal liquidity, you can use them for intraday sales. Now you can see that this price, this structure, or this narrative is what is on pending. Now let's mark out the highs. So we have this high, and we have this high. And let me use okay. So we have this high, we have this high, and we have that high now. From the structure, if you, you can you can take the video backwards so you understand what I'm trying to say. From the structure now, which this is also a, this is also a high, all right. This is also a high. So now, which of these highs are external liquidities? From the structure, which of these highs are external liquidities? I'll let you do your thing. Pause the video and check it for yourself. Now, all of these highs are external liquidities. All of these highs. First, this is a a loan high okay now price rates that high what happens that this high becomes what an external liquidity where is the target the target is an external low now if you look at this where is the nearest external low forget all this chart on the right right i don't want to use bar replay because my subscription finished of course so forget all this chart on the right the nearest external low you see it's somewhere down here so you can see this is the nearest external low here now that could be a main target like i said like i said this could also be the target if price is bearish but in the case if price is bullish if it's not coming down to here it does what it creates a new external low that's what price does it creates what a new external low okay fine price takes out this external high create another external high now in that case we are looking for what we are looking for rejection now those this rejection price must take out the highest high or the lowest low of a day once it wants to start to reject i don't know how to explain this but this is getting quite too complicated okay let's see price reads this high now right and becomes what an external high this is an original target of course you want to start looking for sales yeah now to start looking for sales what are you expecting you're expecting price to read the 
previous day high, right? To start selling. Now, in this case, price reached the previous day high and created what another external high. This is it, created another external high. That's why I say that once price takes out the high, or once price takes out an external high, you don't know exactly when price will start rejecting. So you just have to chill and wait for price to give you the footprint. Now, on this day, price took out a previous day high and sold, of course. On the next day, you are waiting for what? You are waiting for price to take out a previous day high and keep on selling to what? To the new external low. Of course, we don't have an external low here, but we are expecting price to create a new external low. Okay, so now the next day, what happens? Price takes out this high, and now this high becomes the original external liquidity. Why is that? If you have any question, you can ask them or perhaps write to them and ask them on the on the comment section. I'm going to answer these questions maybe in the next video. Now, this high was the original external liquidity. But first, we are looking for after price takes out this high becomes external liquidity, we start looking for what is sell program. Now the sell program consists of what price taking out a previous day high and continue the selling to what an external low, which is the original target for price. Now price did that. And we start looking for the sell program. The sell program did not happen here. This was a consolidation, or you can call it what an accumulation or this manipulation, then the original what distribution. You can see how everything is marking out, right? So once price takes out this external high, it becomes what? It becomes the new external high. Now, what are we looking for next? We are looking for price to do what? To create a new external low. So that is the last low because from this recent structure that is the last low so price is what price creates a new external low that becomes the target you see that now in this case you cannot expect price to take to, to take out this low or this low or this low or this low and start returning no you are looking for price to take out what the last low that is what price is going to use as an external low since it's not really taken out any low on the left. Now, this low has taken out this low. That becomes what? That becomes an external low, right? Now, where is the original target? The original target is here, an external high. Now, this is where many people get it wrong. Once this occurs, you see this, see this range. Look at this range. This range from this range to this range. Once you see something like this, clear as day, you have a clear external low, you have a clear external high. Once this occur, whatever whatever is happening here on the right hand side, you should never take a sell. Never, no matter what the setup is telling you, never take a sell. Because I, I know many people who do this. Let's say they, they mark this out as a buy side liquidity on, on what on Thursday. Okay, this is Thursday. They mark this out as a buy side liquidity. And you look for sales there and start selling just after they were in profit price do what price takes them out and this is the this is why ict concept is very complicated right this is the reason why ict concept is very complicated because understanding the liquidity that price is going to read is the most important thing that's why you come to the higher time frame to get the higher time frame narrative where is price coming from price is coming from what an external high an external low sorry that is your first question. If you are here, right? Let's say this is a new week. Okay, this is Tuesday. This is Wednesday, Thursday. The first question is what? Where is price coming from? You look at the left hand side. Oh, price has taken out a low, making it what an external low. So price is coming from what? From what? An external low. So where is price going to? A what? An external high. So in this case, you are only looking for buy setups. You are looking for buy setups. Price, you can see here, price come back, picks out previous day low. A buys price come back drops into what um previous day value gap and buys and the same thing here price come back drops into previous day value gap you can see them there it's it's obviously outlined price drops into previous day value gap and do what and buy the price target this high you are not in any way selling you're not looking for any sell setup this is the most important thing and this is what i tell my students understanding liquidity is very important yes yes outline all the liquidity on the chart on a new day but it's very important that you should not be countering or, or outlining the counter liquidity let's say price is coming from an external low and you are outlining 
a high that's not an external high in order to look to look for to look for sales it's very important that you find the liquidity that aligns to the higher time frame narrative now once price takes out this external high what are we waiting for we're waiting for a sell program right you know the original price should take out the previous day high and sell what happened on the on the next day no sell program price is not taking out any previous day high on this day what happened the next day price is not taking out any previous day high on this day so basically there's nothing to trade here then once that rejection starts to occur once that rejection starts that's when you have your external liquidity of course price have taken out an external liquidity so all of these highs is what you are looking for an external liquidity now to find out your external liquidity where is it this is your external liquidity that high is your external liquidity now there are questions like why is that high and external liquidity why not this high why not this high and you know and so forth well if you look at this first this high is taken out towards an obvious high as the first thing to outline this high is taken out an obvious high so we are looking for what since we are finding out where price is coming from we are looking for what we are looking for what price is what is going to we have this low that low is not taking out any low we have this low that low is not taking out any low so this therefore means that price is most likely going to create a new external what a new external low so once price takes that out the price gets to the last low very, very important for you to understand that the price gets to the last low do not pick any buy setups you are not picking any buy setups so price starts this now what is the original sell program price should take out what a previous day high then start selling it might be a current day high but if you go to the 50 minute time frame that is clear as day that is clear as day you see price reading an external high the price reading an ex uh, sorry reading a current day high to sell right then from there the sell program starts price trades into previous day favorite gap price trades into previous day favorite gap or current day favorite gap or the intraday AMD setup, however you want to call it, till it gets to what it gets to the external low, which is at this point. Now you can see that's the external low. What does price do in this case? Price does what price starts returning. So this becomes the new external low, and this becomes the new external high. So now you have a clear picture of what price is doing price is coming from what an external low to target what an external high so no matter the consequences no matter the intraday setup no matter whatever price is doing here do not i repeat do not pick a sell only a buy you can see this is monday price sticks out i don't know why this chart is doing like this let me increase a chart this increase my chart a little what is my fun my function okay so you can see that you can see this this loop right that starts the original cell program program so price needs to needs to give you the indication that it's going to reject it's going to start the cell program once an external high is formed or an external loop is formed so fine we have what an external loop that rated what a single loop okay so price bought and the next day what happened price traded into previous day favorite gap and and still buy the next day what happened price traded into relative equal lows you can see them there price traded into relative equal lows and do what and continue the buy then it slowed down here there's no setup there's no now at this point our bias is what our bias is buy so there was external high so there's no setup here only consolidation now what happens on the next week when is the price takes out what a previous week low and do what and buy and this is telling you that this algorithm uh, follows the external low and external high theory very very well now look at this new one once price takes out an external high 
right it creates what a new external high that's our new external high that's our original target and what happens we are looking for a low that price might likely use this remember this is bearish if we are in a, a site in a range market price will most likely come down to this external high very important for sorry to this external low very important for you to understand that but once we are very bullish or we are very bearish then you see price likely creating new external lows to continue the 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 original trend like this price did not come down to this external low it was it created a new external low now in this case price is not coming down to this external low or this external low you can see this is an external low look at this very well this is an external low apart from all of this because this low is a, is a is a loan low that was readed you see that so this is a loan low that was readed this is no more the original external low this is now the external low now if it was in a sideways market or in a ranging market you see price come down to take out this external low in order to keep on keep on going higher but since it's in a very bullish market then you, that's where you most likely see price create new external highs and new external lows and you just keep have you have to keep treating the market this way i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say but before you go every day looking for a buy looking for a sell go to the one hour time frame or perhaps the four hour time frame it's more clear on the four hour time frame because look at it on the four hour time frame it's more obvious very clear but there are some things that you might not see like a low that might just appear to be a weak on the four hour time frame that's why i used the one hour time frame to demonstrate right like something like this you can see like that week good so now if you use this higher time frame to understand the narrative you are telling you asking yourself two questions where is price coming from is price coming from an external high okay fine we are looking for sell program to the what the external low if there comes a day where price is giving you a buy program ignore that day by all means or perhaps take the buy program but make your profit target very very small because sometimes it could just you catching the slight retracement now this is the same thing is a price formed or created an external low if so you are looking for buy to the external high if you pick a buy from this place let's say this kind of buy we pick a buy from something like this you can hold this particular trade till it gets to what till it gets to the external high you can hold this trade till it gets to the external high if you want to be a swing trader or you can take on the internal highs there you can use internal highs as a, as a profit target but till this high is readed don't look for sales now once this high is readed you have no business with the charts anymore let's say maybe you can go and trade an asset up that's why this is a particular reason why i added us 30 to my collection trading just nasdaq and us 30 you have no business with nasdaq anymore for the meantime once price raise an external high because you are waiting for what you are patiently waiting for a sell program now once that sell program occur the price sticks out a previous day low or a previous day high and start selling that's telling that okay the sell program is has finally printed that's a signal to come back to the chart and start looking for sales till it takes what the next external low and once price takes the external low what happens this is an external low because what you read in this low after that what happens price takes out what an external high comes for the external high now once price reads the external high very well it goes for what the next external low and so on and so forth so you just need to keep tracking this market because this external highs and external low they shift they shift a lot you can see from this external low to this external low so price this was the if this was price target after taking out this high no longer becomes price target because what there is a new external low so this is how price does its thing if you have any question you can ask them on the comment section this particular class is complicated i might need to you know upload a part two or something right okay so thank you for tuning in and before you leave hit that subscribe button and like this video thank you be safe